This video from the D. Samuel Gottesman Library will show you how to add PubMed and PubMed Central ID numbers to reference styles using EndNote. This can help you comply with the NIH Public Access Policy. This document's bibliography was formatted according to the style required by the journal circulation. Note that the references do not include PMCID or PMID numbers. The numbers can be added to these references by editing the circulation output style using the EndNote program style editor. In the EndNote program, select Edit. Then select Output Styles. Now select Open Style Manager. Select Circulation from the list of available styles. You can follow the same steps for any EndNote style. I'm just using Circulation as an example here. Click Edit. Here are all the settings that make the style work. Under Bibliography, select Templates. Take a look at the journal article template. It includes author, title, journal in italics, year, volume, and pages. I'll add PMID and PMCID numbers at the end. Here's where I'll make the edits. Remember to include punctuation and spaces. Now click Insert Field. EndNote stores PMIDs in the Accession Number field, so select Accession Number. To add the PMC ID, I'll click Insert Field again. This time, I'll select PMC ID. Now I'll save my changes. It's a good idea to give the edited style a new name. Circulation PMC ID seems to be a logical name in this case. Close the style editor. Click Close again. OK, so here's my document. And now I'm going to switch to the new style. Click the Style drop-down menu in the EndNote tab. The newly edited style might not appear on this list. Um, in this case, it does, but ignore it for the sake of this video. Scroll up to the top of the list and click Select Another Style. Select Circulation PMCID. Click OK. So now both the PMID and the PMCID numbers appear in my references. The style can be fine-tuned further. For example, you may want to include the letters PMID in front of the PMID number. And to do that, we'll just edit the style again. Go back to EndNote Style Editor and edit the journal article template again. I'll type in PMID and maybe add a colon and a space so that it will format nicely in the reference. Save the changes as before. Back at my Word document, I just have to click Update Citations and Bibliography to put these changes into effect. And there you have it. PMIDs and PMCIDs now appear in my reference list. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please contact the D. Samuel Gottesman Library. We're here to help you.